Hi there, I'm John from cncri.com and today what we'll do is take a look at interlocking puzzle pieces. One of the best ways to save a lot of money on material is actually to make pieces that are symmetrical to one another. So in this case here, they interlock, but the cutting, as you can see here, you line it up, there we go. So the cutting path is only once, and you end up with two pieces. So you save money on material, but you also save a lot of money on laser time, which is at the end of the day, that's what we charge at cncroi.com. So either way you do it, it fits perfectly. Now you know how these were made. So it's actually pretty neat because everything sort of interlocks perfectly up, down, all around. So let's go back to shared lines. The advantage to having shared lines is that you basically cut once. So there's only the laser only moves here one time, but it cuts out two pieces. So you save, uh, it takes half the amount of time to cut two pieces basically because you're using just one line. The other advantage to, to having uh, pieces that are symmetrical was actually pretty easy to do in a 2D software. You just divide it this way and this way and you duplicate it all around and you get your lines all lined up. Is that whenever you have empty spots like this, try to think of something else you can have cut by us or engraved by us uh, to use the material. So otherwise this in internal part here is either chucked out or it's used for another project. But if you come to us and say, well, we need puzzles and we happen to also need um, some wall plaques or something like that, or some name badges, you know, it's very easy to cut out all the way down, make a whole bunch of name tags here, and then you have your puzzle piece on top, or letters, or anything else. So the ultimate ROI when it comes to material and laser is to try to have as much stuff done on a sheet of material as possible. I'll see you in the next video.